take a look guys this is the Dark Horse Godzilla graphic novel adaption of the return of Godzilla and I'm not very good with pronouncing Japanese names even if it is the English translation but there we have uh, the illustrator I believe the writer of this Dark Horse comic book show you the spine as you can see Dark Horse, this came out in the 90's I believe well, or is reissued in the 90's should I say um, because it, I think it was a 1989 well I could be wrong now but I'm going to look inside and try to see um, the copyright on it if you want to pause that you can read that just there basically it tells you the story of itself um, it's a feature length uh, full graphic novel originally it was from Nottingham this was uh, from a shopping town but you can get it online I don't know how much it goes for or anything like that but um, I think there have been a few reissues of this um, a few times I'm looking now to see um, well it was a Japanese manga adaption and uh, the UK comic of manga in the 90s kind of like um, brought this out into the monthly comic form in different parts etc so in like a serial sort of thing cover painted by Bob, Bob, sorry, Bob Eccleton um, if you're a Godzilla fan you should know who he is he's a great artist of the genre dinosaurs monsters anything classic like horror like Godzilla etc etc uh, I'm not going to show you everything in here but I'm gonna but this this was actually a second edition from 1995 printed in Canada second edition so there was a first edition as well I was right uh, the 1988 and 1989 the mini series the original one great silhouette of Godzilla there I was going to flip through it really quickly it follows pretty much the film the volcano eruption um, Godzilla waking it up you can see great there is manga eye where it goes on to the ship the Yatamaru um, I think it's still called that um, Drifting out at sea, we get um, with the approach Godzilla, where he comes out of the water, and uh, basically we should cut to another scene. Yep, here we go to uh, the reporter on the boat, and he's trying to basically get a good story. He's relaxing. Here's a story on the radio, and he happens to have his camera with him, and so he stumbles upon the ship goes aboard it and he's approached by the Shakiris type creatures uh, a bit of horror there which I've always liked at this part of the film and everything like that as well as the comic book uh, well these giant bug things uh, giant parasite things which live on Godzilla and um, yeah this pretty much sets up the story and basically the story is when the the only ship member gets rescued by the reporter they goes into a blackout over Tokyo that Godzilla is alive and they're trying to keep it a secret with the government Professor Hayashida there and moving on the Russian submarine trying to hunt Godzilla down There's some story explanation behind the bugs there's the pres pre Prime Minister of Japan so um, yeah we do actually eventually do get to see gods and I've turned pretty much to the to right page where um, he attacks the nuclear power plant and I love that shot that is amazing that is amazing scary as well basically Godzilla attacks this nuclear power plant I'm not gonna 
go through all of this, I'll just randomly get through it all. But um, basically, Godzilla ends up coming to uh, Japan from off seas, of course. Uh, of course, he was born and bred pretty much in Japan. Where uh, he can see me, I won't give anything away actually, I don't think that's fair, but you can see the Super X on the back and the official merchandise license in there. So, here was my look at Godzilla from Dark Horse Comics, the graphic novel for The Return of Godzilla 1984. So, hope you've enjoyed this, guys. See you soon. Bye.